make time for everything else. You should take 10, 15 minutes out of your day and make time to read the Bible, like to read it. And, and, and it'll never make sense if you don't spend time in it, yeah. right? It will never make sense. Um, you, and and you, you just have to start, just like everything else. It, it didn't make sense when you were a little kid trying to learn how to tie your shoes, right? It didn't make sense. You, you, you just couldn't do it. And what did you do? You always went to mommy or daddy, put that foot out, put that foot up here, right? And someone would tie your shoe because it didn't make sense. But the moment that you decided that you were going to learn how to tie your shoe, right? What, what happens at the first time you tied it? I did it, right? Eyes get big. I did it. Well, well, it's the same way with the word. The first time that you finally read and something resonates with you, you're going to be like, I did it. I understand that. And so what has to happen is there has to build up a hunger. Like if you just read it with no hunger, right? If you just read it without, without asking for understanding, right? Then, then you, you may get lost in it, right? It may be boring to you. It, I, I don't understand it, right? And so, and so what happens a lot of times Christianity, when people that are, that are Christians come and rely on the pastor to just teach them what it says. Well, you're only going to get what God gives me. What about what God wants to give you? And so it's important to spend time with this because when you spend time with this, you spend, you're spend you actually spending time with God. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God, right? And so when we spend time with this, we spend time with God. We spend time with Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit wants this intimate time with you. Because if he can get this into intimate time with you, there's so many issues of life that can get straightened out and fixed. There are, there, are, there are so many things that you'll find in this word that will fix every single aspect of your life. It, it, it's a mirror. It's a mirror. It's a mirror when you're doing bad. It's a mirror when you're doing good. It's a mirror when, you, when, you're, com when you're complacent. It's a mirror when you're confused. Like, like it teaches you. Like, if, if I'm confused about something, then it teaches me how to get out of confusion. If I'm, if I'm doing something wrong, it teaches me how to get out of wrong. If I'm doing something good, it applauds me at the things that I'm doing good. Like, like, like this is life. This, and, for, and for the body of Christ, if you don't have a relationship with this, you're out of order. You, you, you know what I mean? You're out of order. Like, like you just have to start somewhere.